Hello and welcome to Chess News Summary. I'm Nafisa Abdul Al with the news. Governors of the Southeast have established a regional security outfit to tackle criminality. At a security meeting in Oweri, the Imo state capital, on Sunday, the governors announced the establishment of Ebube Agu, which will have its headquarters in Enugu. Chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, Dave Umahi, who read a communique issued at the end of the meeting of the Southeast Governors, expressed optimism that the development will boost security. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project has urged the Chairman of the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, Elias Mbam, to review the remuneration, allowances and conditions of service for Nigerian judges upward and those of high-ranking political officers downward. The call followed the nationwide industrial action by the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, demanding financial autonomy for the judicial arm of government and the federal government's silence on the judiciary workers' strike that has grounded courts across the country. Some Nigerian citizens have called on the federal government to allow the private sector to administer COVID-19 vaccines to make it more efficient. Abiodun Adekoya, a Lagos-based entrepreneur, urged the federal government to create a framework that allows the private sector to provide vaccines to Nigerians that can afford it in a timely and convenient manner. He said this would partly ease government's uneasy burden of catering for almost 200 million citizens. The Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, in the Federal Capital Territory has asked the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to shift the date for party primaries ahead of the Abuja Area Council election. INEC had announced that conduct of party primaries and resolution of disputes arising from the primaries would hold between April 1st and April 24th, 2021. The chairman of IPAC in the FCT, Abdurrahman Ndagi, said IPAC believes and seeks for the party's primaries to be shifted between May and August 2021 for proper conduct. In business, import revenue generation at the Tinkan Island Command of the Nigeria Customs Service rose to 112 billion naira, a 23% rise in the first quarter of 2021. The increase of 21 billion naira was higher than the 91 billion naira earned in the same quarter of 2020. A statement issued by the Customs Area Controller, Bab Abdullah Musa, said this was despite the double threat to lives and livelihood posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. And in sports, Super Eagle striker Victor Osimhen was on the score sheet in Napoli's 2-0 victory over Sampdoria in Sunday Serie A game. The center forward was handed a starting role in the encounter, spearheading the Parthenopian's attack and made a key impact. The Nigeria International featured for the duration of the game and besides his goal made two key passes and won five aerial contests as part of his contribution in the match. And that wraps up on our package today. I'm Nafisa Abdullah. Thank you for joining us.